Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you on how to install the 3D Touch, BL Touch, CR Touch on the Ender 3 Pro and it will be really fast, simple and you'll be having one of the best prints you've ever seen in your life. So let's get started. Let's uh, unbox the 3D Touch. So inside you'll get some screws and some little replacement parts and you'll get this foam piece which has the sensor itself and these two clips and then the last part inside is this very long wire which is going to be used from attaching from motherboard all the way to the sensor there's one pre-installed but it won't be long enough for her. so we'll have to remove it so once you remove the 3D touch, as you can see, it's not super big. It's actually pretty mini. As you guys just realized, there's no bracket. So I have to 3D print one. If you have a bracket, that's good. But if you don't have one, print it out. And now let's go through the installation process. Okay guys, what you're gonna do now is you're going to grab your allen key you're gonna grab your allen key and you're gonna unscrew these two screws here and you're going to place your bracket that you 3d printed or you already had in your kit and you're gonna place them so let's get started i'm just gonna start unscrewing mine you're going to grab your bracket and you're going to place it properly you might have to remove this on the side, but as you can see, it fits perfect. Let me show you how. Okay guys, just make sure that the screws fit properly inside the bracket or else it could crack. If the screw is too big or the hole is too small, you, it can crack as, and Catch we don't want screw. that to happen. So I've got the first screw in, so that's really good because these screws can actually be small where they won't fit, but but luckily I'm able to fit my screws in. Our bracket has been successfully installed into the print head. What we're going to use the included screws and the nuts and we're going to attach our probe. It's in the proper position, you're going to place the wire in this Hole, and then you're just gonna push the, the slot in and then you should attach. I was able to place the wire into the slot and now we're able to pull this out and now we can screw our now we can screw our probe. I have a question on where we're gonna place this. So we'll need something that can hold this while it's on the cable. So you can use a zip tie. But for now, I'm just gonna let this hang on on this uh, V slot while we attach our screws, and then we'll feed it down to the motherboard. But we will be feeding this screw from the bottom, and then from the top, we'll be attaching this nut like this. As you can see, we brought our screw in, and now we're going to grab this nut. And we're just going to start screwing it all the way to the bottom. Once you're done with the first screw, repeat this for the next screw. All the way down screw. to the motherboard. So what we'll have to do is we'll move our Y axis bed. And now we have access to this screw. Start by unscrewing this screw over here. Oh, make sure to remember where it goes. So I personally place it on this work station. I will need to flip this whole printer. So we'll make sure that your 
workspace isn't that messy and that you have space. So I'm gonna quickly clean this up. You're gonna grab the printer firmly and make sure you grab the printer from the bottom and the top and you're just gonna flip it. It's not that hard and the machine isn't that heavy. You can keep the spool on uh, because it won't really affect anything. It won't block any parts. You can keep the spool on, but yeah, that's it. Okay, so you've got some screws. Make sure that your printer's okay. Uh, just make sure that your probe doesn't get hit with the table. And then you're good to go. So grab your Allen key again. And then we're gonna start with these two. Or you can start with this one. I'm gonna start with this one. Once you get inside the motherboard, you'll need to know where each part is. So right here is our SD card slot, where your SD card go, right here is the USB, and right here where the rainbow wire is should be some ports. These ports are where the BL Touch wires will be going into. So we'll so insert you're gonna make this our wire follow pins these here. Wires so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna oh, grab your wire, you're going to Feed it up through here. the back of the printer. Make sure that it's following the other back. wires for a better path. And you're just gonna put it inside this slot. And then you're gonna grab the pins and you're gonna inside the pin connectors. So the G, V, and I, N is where you're gonna put the three pinned connector. And then the other G, and out, that's where we're gonna put in the two pin connector. So you can see here. The sensor now what we'll have be to do the bed for us. So we don't need this. Access because theoretically, stop. this can because this we do theoretically, not need this anymore. Like, uh, the reason why we do not need so this is it knows what the bed is here. But the now we got our 3D cut. So will actually tell us when the bed has arrived. it as a stop point. So now so we're basically substituting it. here. So once you're done removing it, now we'll get to the next step where we're gonna flash the 3D printer with a new firmware compatible for BL Touch. We're going to use Marlin firmware and not the official quality firmware because the official quality firmware crashes a lot. So we're gonna get the Ender 3 4.2.2 board BL Touch and then we're going to install this version that has 30 downloads at the time of recording. You'll need to get a membership, so you just sign in and it will ask you to, to donate. So you're just gonna enter the amount of zero and you'll be good to go to download it. Now it's time to do a little test before we install a new firmware. So what you're gonna do is just gonna plug it in. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. And once you turn it on, the Beagle Touch will do its self testing. After you're done downloading the firmware, you're gonna put on the SD card. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna start updating. So I'm just going to fold this up, push this all the way down, and I'm just going to put in the, I'm just going to put in the SD card, I'm going to turn on the machine, and what's going to happen is that from when it's going to download, it's going to install. So now we're ready. To know if you actually install, you're going to go, you're going to, you're going to look for the probe and level option. That's good. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna clean the bed. So you're gonna get your isopropyl alcohol and you're gonna wash the bed. Okay, so now it's time to start our bed leveling. So you're gonna do motion, it's gonna auto home. So, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go all the way down to configuration. Do. So you're gonna go to a hot and idle timeout. You're gonna you're gonna just click on disable timeout. We're gonna do that because during a print, and once we're done, it could fall down. So the nozzle could fall down while we're like adjusting stuff. So you don't want that to happen. So you're gonna go all the way down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to be a touch now. We're gonna go all the way down. And we're gonna turn a high speed off. Okay. Once it's off, now you can. Go all the way down, store settings, and then you're gonna go main menu, 
you're gonna go to your probe and level and just gonna level the bed. The reason why we made it slow is because if you make it go fast, if you make the leveling super fast, what happens is that it'll go too fast that sometimes the sensor won't have enough time to deploy or retract, so it'll hit two times. So this, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna go to 25 probing points and it's just gonna level in 25 different areas. So this might take uh, 30 seconds. Once you're done leveling, what you're going to do is you're going to go back and you're going to go onto the probe and level. You'll go on the probe wizard. So it will have the probe wizard will automatically home everything and it will be easier to adjust. Okay, so once it goes into position, we're gonna go down and it's gonna change the position. So once it gets into position, we're gonna then get down. Okay, I think that's good. So let's go. Okay, so what you're gonna do is after you're done, you're gonna take the baby step code Z and make sure it's correct. So yeah, it's 1.4 So that's good. Now I'm just gonna store settings. Once you hear that, we're good to go. Now, it's time to test. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your printer settings in Cura, and then you're going to find this G28 Home All Access, and you're going to create a line underneath, and you're just gonna write capital G29, comma, and the uh, auto bed level. Let's for print. So I'm gonna select Corner Media. We're gonna do our first layer test. We're gonna do our Both of these files test. will be in the description for you to download. It's gonna start doing everything that we need. So once it's done leveling, and uh, I'll show you how the print goes. Perfect layers. This is going really good. I've never seen this clean of a first layer ever. So we got our print ready. So let's take it off first. Okay guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If this was really helpful for you on installing your BL Touch, CL Touch, or 3D Touch, make sure to give me a like and subscribe. This video took lots of effort to make, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.